Ambassador Ido Aharoni is ending his term as Consul General of Israel in New York after six years. Ambassador Aharoni has been a dedicated civil servant in the Israeli government for 25 years. Ido Aharoni. You only have to walk into his office and see the photo of his father in the desert with uh, the founders of the state of Israel to understand that this is a child of pioneers and somebody who feels so deeply above a political level about the job that he's doing in the state that he's doing it for. Ido was the consul for media affairs uh, here in New York. He stood out, not just because he's so tall, but because of his ability to communicate. And I think that's really been his great strength. It was pretty clear to me from very early on when I saw him scurrying around uh, the consulate that this was going to be a rising star. He was a little more hair, and between us, he was a bit trimmer. First as acting consul general, I was so impressed with his gifts and talent that I said, you know, you're not going to be acting. You're going to be the consul general. He impressed me from first meeting. He is deep, he is subtle, he knows to listen, and he's knowledgeable. Ido is not a politician, he's a public servant. He's always putting others before himself, he puts his country first, and he's very focused on making the lives of everyone better. Ido has been a unique diplomat in his openness, in his energy, in his enthusiasm, and unlike, I would say, many diplomats, he just seems to have this desire to learn and to grow. When you really see the art of diplomacy, you see somebody moving about, getting things done quietly. It's never about them, it's about the mission. And I think that speaks volumes about what Dito's been able to do. Because he understands people, because he understands this community, he's able to transmit his message. He finds the connection. I can't believe how many friends he's got. He always attended every function that we ask him to attend and even volunteered to attend more. I'm curious when either managed to sleep because I always used to see him once he left an Israel Bonds event, I found him in another seven events that I also used to go to and he spoke in each one of them. No matter who it is, he don't knows him. So I was in his office and I just made up somebody and so Ido goes, no, I know him. I said, well, I don't know why you know him, Ido, because I made up the entire name. And then Ido tried to convince me that I, he was really a real person and that he knows him from the time he was with Shimon Peres. And I kept on trying to convince him that it was a made-up person, Ido, but that's Ido Aharoni. Ido was my right hand when it came down to building a relationship in Israel. He schooled me in a way uh, that was beneficial for myself and also for Israel and it's been a great relationship so far. For me, he has been really a member of my family. He's been a brother. He has been such a terrific force in my life, personally, as well as professionally. He kind of weaves together a whole network of contacts through all the different activities that he's engaged in throughout his life. It's very special. The best consuls have been the ones who have been the most visible, who have worked with the entire community and not just narrow portions of the community. Many people don't understand that. They don't understand that their job is to represent the American people as much as it is to represent Israel. And Ido gets it, his understanding of America, his understanding of Minnesota, of Minneapolis, of North Dakota, of Los Angeles is huge. I haven't met a diplomat who is so plugged in to the culture and the infrastructure of a country as he is. You can bring him into the archdiocese, you can bring him into the board of rabbis, you can bring him anywhere. That, to me, typifies Ido Aroni. It doesn't matter what team you play for, it doesn't matter where your allegiance is, what matters is that you are a friend that transcends all the different divisions and you're part of one people, one family. Diplomats usually follow in more or less a cookie cutter fashion, but Ido's a one of a kind and the best example is the Brand Israel concept. He has developed his own approach to branding of nations, and he has done it so well that in fact, as far as I know, there are some universities who are even teaching Ido's approach to branding nations. Uh, Israel has benefited immensely from it. I don't believe there are many diplomats in the Israeli Foreign Service that have achieved that degree of excellence. He approached Israel and Israel's branding 
as how can we make Israel as attractive as possible. He understands it's not about getting people to think differently, it's about getting people to feel differently. And that's very, very unique and quite frankly it's the core of understanding why people would have an affinity or an attraction or a real strong sort of relationship with the country. Ido personifies the deep and long-standing ties not only between cities like New York and Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, but also between New Yorkers and Israelis. He just doesn't follow the dry, traditional way of outreach, extremely creative. Making the case for Israel can be so challenging at times that you lose your sense of humor. Ido never lost his sense of humor. He understood that humor is a way of diffusing a situation and of reminding us that there's always a balance in life. Things are never all funny and things are never all tragic. He brings a sophistication to the role that goes well beyond that of a traditional diplomat or politician. He's open about the good and the bad. He's ultra-realistic, but he also emits that special feeling that many Jews and non-Jews do, that this is a country that needs to be supported on many levels. And I haven't met anybody that wasn't impressed by him. He doesn't gloss over complexity. He doesn't speak in hyperbole. When there's an issue that has to be dealt with, he deals with it directly and candidly. And he's looking to move the ball down the field in the interest of his country, all the while doing so in a way that allows him to be credible. And that's very, very important. It really makes it easy for us to do our job of saving lives in Israel, making the message come to life. He made a presentation about a methodology of presenting Israel to the world different and better than i would ever heard before. I always think of Ido if I see an article in the New York Times about Israeli fashion or food, or if I see a story about Israeli technology that's not about Israel bragging about the technology, but it's about the technology. All of that started with Ido pushing that notion of how do we get beyond the conflict. We're in the culture business, we're in the entertainment business, and we understand that culture can have more of an impact on people's perceptions of complicated issues. If I were to describe Ido in one word, Abraham Avinu would say, Hineni, here I am. Whenever there was a need for somebody who represents Israel at the highest level, he was there. He had suggestions of his own. Why don't you try this, why don't you try that? And invariably it was right on the money. He told us, for example, that we should take a look at Arad. We found some very, very useful uses of philanthropic funds there, and we wouldn't have been there except Ida. When the NYPD was looking for emerging technology, he rang for me to meet with companies that were over here operating from Israel. We realized the fact that there were uh, a special needs, and I think it worked out uh, extremely well. In May 2016, we inaugurate the Steve Tisch School of Filming. It would not have happened without the introduction of Ido. Because of him and because of our relationship, we were able to have a trip to Israel with Mariano Rivera. The ambassador has always been a strong friend of New York City's. From accompanying me on my trip to Israel as mayor-elect in 2001, to hosting Margaret David Adam events at his home. That energy and excitement and enthusiasm that he has for being a part of the fabric of New York, I think really helped move Israel up in terms of understanding in New York what Israel was all about. The Gaza war explodes. People like me are horrified. What can we do? I call Ido. He says, Gather a group, your own group, off the record. Make them prominent people in every community. Make sure they're not all Jewish, not all anything, but influencers. And I'd never done that before. And it was a terrific dialogue. Overall, the American Jewish community, the American people stand with Israel. And it's because of people like Ido who help communicate the message, who try to tell the truth. And that's our strongest weapon. It's difficult to civilians to look to him straight in his eyes because of his height, he manages to look straight in our eyes and he makes you feel very comfortable. And so in that sense, you know, he really should get the Diplomatic MVP award or something like that because he's an all-star. I think what makes him different, one, he's the tallest consul general I've ever met. He makes up stories about being a basketball player, which he has not a clue. We're both frustrated former basketball players who in our minds should be starting at small forward for the New York Knicks. Come to think of it, we probably could start for the Knicks right now. Humongous basketball fan 
who understood our game, I think, better than I did. Whenever I visit with him, if it's an hour, it's 55 minutes of basketball and a dissection by him of the game and every aspect of it. He knows players and teams, and <laughs> he knows how to play the game. He <laughs> the strategy that, that's involved in the game of basketball. And it made it an easy transition for me to communicate with him because he was so openly fun to hang out with. We get together and we talk about hoops. We get around eventually to the Middle East, but mostly it's about Carmelo Anthony and why some obscure Israeli player should be in the Hall of Fame. Here's to Duran Sheffer. He's a passionate fan. He's come to many of our games over the years, and we've used the opportunity to talk about how through basketball, we can bring people closer together, not just in Israel, but throughout the world. We talked about Hapoel Jerusalem. There's an opportunity there with the team in Israel that needs great help, and it's a great idea to actually bring a basketball atmosphere to Jerusalem. And when I met with him about that, it, I actually got involved with the team. We have now a championship caliber team in Jerusalem. He will be sorely, sorely missed. It's not in his longevity, whether it's been one year or six years. I think Guido's mark would have been in one day. I don't think there's one person that he's ever talked to who could say, if you ask him, what political party do you think Guido belongs to in Israel? I will bet you that nobody has an answer. We're going to miss the non-political ideological place that he's in. Be a great uh, void. I can't imagine him not throwing open his home and encouraging groups of people to support Israel in some fashion. When you're really good at that job, it's not about the chair that you're holding, it's about how you have held the chair. And I think that will be reflected in the nature of the continuing friendships that are part of his life and I hope, of course, will be, continue to be part of mine uh, with Ida. I'll miss you uh, at the ambassadorship, but I am so happy that you're still my friend. Ido, love you lots. I wish you good luck, success in your new venture in life, and always I'll stand by you. Good luck and I love you. Take care. I'm here if you need me anytime. You have my direct cell phone number. I know I speak for all New Yorkers when I say we will miss his leadership and diplomacy. Ido, mazel tov on a distinguished career. Ido, I wish you great success on your next undertaking. And I know you will never uh, lose your love for the great game, just as you won't lose your love for the state that you have served so ardently. Ido, congratulations on an outstanding term as Israel's Consul General in New York and on completing 25 years of extraordinary public service. I'll always appreciate your work to drive basketball's global growth and your passionate commitment to sharing the core values of the game like teamwork, integrity, and respect. We love your smarts, your charm, your curiosity, your sense of humor, and your genuine enthusiasm for everything you talk about. I'm convinced that if all the world's diplomats were more like you, Ido, there'd be peace in our time. Thank you for your friendship, and good luck with your new job backing up Carmelo. Ambassador, congratulations to you. You've been a valued guest over the years. We are wishing you all the best as you end your term as Consul General. We know your presence will be felt in the Jewish community and New York for years to come.